Okay, so this is our, our last setup from Closed Guard um, into the old Plata. Um, we're going to transition to um, our Gubber Guard, from Closed Guard to Gubber Guard. So how are we going to set that up? So say from here, I mean, sometimes it's hard to get the old Plata from Closed Guard. Jerome knows Jiu Jitsu, he's going to be keeping his elbows glued to his body and we need an open elbow. Okay, to be able to attack these arms with the Omar Plata. So how are we gonna do that? So say he's there, I can I can break his posture just by finding the back of his elbows here, putting him on my knees and bringing him down. Left hand controls the upper body and then I open up the lapel and pass it from my right hand to my left hand and my right hand makes a baseball bat grip. So I have this part of the lapel over the back of Tyrone's neck, try to posture bro. Again, we have a choke from there. I can push in his head and make a connection with my um, right forearm against his right jugular. And then I cut an angle. The only time I ever use karate, karate chop, boom, find that connection, and we're in for this cross choke. But that's easily stopped. The second I go for this, Jerome's arms are going to come in and start pushing on that. If you notice, look at his right forearm, or sorry, right elbow, it's away from his body. I uncross my legs. I put my left foot on his right hip and I bring my knee behind his arm. Try to get your elbow back, bro. And now his, he's got an open elbow there. Maybe the choke's still on. <laughs> I love it. But from here, we're going we're gonna to transition to Gubber Guard. That ruined the move then. So from there, right, watch, I just let go. And now my overhook comes along and I grab the knee. The detail is now, though, um, Tyrone's right elbows away from his body. So how do non-flexible people like myself get gubber guard? Okay, so from here my left hand just comes under the back of my leg like in a Williams guard um, move. And now I just pass the lapel from my right to my left. From there I bring the lapel underneath the back of my left leg and pass it back to my right leg. And again now this is Gubber Guard. Okay, Jerome's going to do his stuff. See, we have an angle. I'm looking into this right ear. Now it's all about freeing this bottom leg. How am I going to do that? So I can pass the grip back again, start pushing on his head, and bring my knee through the space. A lot of the time from there, Jerome can be trying to grab my pants and stuff. So I can kind of, yeah, it doesn't really matter where he grabs. I like to just push on the head and get my leg over his head. Try to posture now, bro. I just keep the weight of my leg on his head. This is what's so strong about this cover guard position. Well, if you notice, there's still an open elbow here in his right arm. So he just switch grips, cut the angle, and they go straight into the Oma Plata position. When I sit up, I'm just using this as a rope to pull myself up. Again, there's the elbow. Find that. Use um, your own as a crutch to lean on. So I can build the base, bring this under, this comes, uh, other thigh comes under the elbow, rope them in, and then I just go straight forward. Let's just get another angle on that. You're here, bro. So from close guard, I just break them down, get head control, open up the lapel, pass it from my right to my left, and get that baseball bat grip over the back of his neck to the posture bro it's very very difficult it's hard for me to get access to his elbows here to attack the own so we're going to set it up with a cross choke first so we just keep the grip on my right hand push on his um right ear to my right and he just bring that in and again I, you know you need to sell the choke it has to be you have to be able to choke him with the choke so my forearm is tight to his right jugular I'm going to cut an angle and come in on this side to go for the cross choke. <coughs> his response will be to push with his arms. You can even use two arms, it doesn't really matter to try and pull these arms off, yes. But now his right elbow is away from his body, so I open my guard, I bring my left knee up and I put my foot on, on his hip and bring my knee in tight to keep his elbow away from his body. Now from there I can reach through with this arm and find my knee. Now it's all about cutting an angle. So I just use that connection with my foot on his hip, the hip out. And now I start to bring my arm under my leg like in a Williams guard position. 
And now from there I pass the lapel from my right to my left. Bring my leg over and then pass the lapel over and back to my right. I can use two hands. Jerome will want to get his angle back by walking his knees this way. So that's why I want to frame. I think we covered that on Williams guard as well. Now it's all about um, freeing my bottom leg. So again, if, if he's grabbed it, I can, I can push and bring my knee over. Or sometimes I like to bring my knee in front of his face. And then to get my leg out, I just move my hip out and now it's over to the posture, bro. Now to get the Oman Plata, I need to turn my angle again because I'm perpendicular, I need to be parallel. So I keep the grip. Now I can start to come under the leg. Again, we're still leg pressing. The, the easy thing to come up is because I have this lapel, whereas before you would have had to extend your legs, the lapel just basically pulls me up. Okay. And now from there, I can find the elbow, put my weight in them, curl the leg back, bring this one underneath, and now I go straight forward. Let's just get one more angle on that bow. Here, back to the radiator. So, from here, I'm working getting them down, open up the lapel, make the grips, baseball back grip, either side of his neck, try to posture bro, and then I sell the cross choke, I'm just pushing his head and get connection on that forearm, kind of an angle and I'm looking for that choke until he makes those grips. And now his right elbow is away from his body, so I just put my left foot on his right hip and my knees into his armpit and now from there I just reach up with my left hand and find my knee I'm already starting to cut that angle again to get perpendicular left hand comes under the back as in a Williams guard transition past the lapel from my right to my left bring it under my leg and over and re-grab again now it's the battle of freeing my knee leg again I can take my time from here because I have got perpendicular to Tyrone. He's in an awkward position, yeah, playing the game, bro, and he's trying to, you know, grab hold on to that leg. When the moment's right, I just push that and bring my leg over. Do your stuff now, bro. This position sucks. It's very hard for him to do anything. He can't posture, he can't get his angle back. The lapel's strapping my leg to his back. So again, I keep the grip of the right hand. My left comes under the back of his heel and now I start to cut the angle to get parallel with him. I don't need a leg press to come up. Two hands on the lapel pulls me up. And now from here, I find the elbow. Use Tyrone as a crutch. Curl this back to put tension in the arm. Second knee comes under. Keep the grip on this. And then I just reach forward. Jiu Jitsu. Oh, uh. And that's our close guard, the gubber guard, to Umuplata set up.